Hello children. How are you? I hope you are fine. Did you enjoy your summer vacation? Oh, I know that you were not supposed to go anywhere, but still you must have relaxed and enjoyed being with your parents and your other family members. Now tell me have you completed all your assignments your previous assignments and did you complete all your test papers okay you are welcome back to your literature class of standard 3 today we will do chapter number 5 and the name of the chapter is the tale of peter rabbit Now children I'll read the chapter you have to listen to it very carefully listen to the pronunciation of the words and the pauses and practice reading aloud several times one time will not work got it now let's start the tale of peter rabbit let us read the story of peter A little rabbit who did not follow his mother's instructions. Once upon a time there were four little rabbits and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sand bank underneath the roof root Of a, of a very big fir tree. Now, my dear," said Mrs. Rabbit one morning. "I am going to buy some bread. You may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. MacGregor's garden." Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. who were good little bunnies went down the lane to gather blackberries but peter who was very naughty ran straight away to mr macgregor's garden and squeezed from under the gate first he ate some lettuce and some french beans and then he ate some radishes then feeling rather sick he went to look for some parsley but whom should he meet but mr mac gregor mr mac gregor who was on his hands and knees planting cabbages but he jumped up and ran after peter waving a rap and calling out stop thief peter was most dreadfully frightened he rushed all over the garden for he had forgotten the way back to the gate unfortunately he ran into a gooseberry net and got caught by large buttons on his blue jacket mr macgregor came up with a sieve which he intended to pop upon the top of peter but peter wriggled out just in time he rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in had it not had so much of water in it. Mr. MacGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. He began to turn them over one by one. I am going to find you. and teach you a lesson he called out just then peter sneezed achoo 
Mr. McGregor was after him and in no time but Peter jumped out of a window. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor and he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter never stopped running or looking behind him till he got home. He was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole. Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother put him to bed and gave him a dose of chamomile tea. But Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail had, a, had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. So children, I have finished reading now. Now I will start explaining the chapter. Listen to it very carefully. Right? So this story, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, was written by Beatrix Potter. She was born in 1866 and died in 1943. She had many pets when she was a child, from mice and rabbits to birds. She often drew pictures of these animals and wrote stories about them. That means she first used to draw pictures of her pet animals and on the basis of those pictures she used to invent, she used to make up her own new stories with her own imagination. Okay? So, she used to draw pictures and write stories about them. She first wrote the tale of Peter Rabbit as a picture letter to little boy she knew who had been ill for a long time. So, this story, the tale of Peter Rabbit, was written by her for a little boy whom she knew and who had been ill for a long time. Okay? So now come to page number 62. At the top of this page, you can see that there are few blanks. Now let's see what are these meant for. What are some of the safety rules that you learn at home and at school? list any three of them. So here children you have to write three safety rules that you have learned at school and at home. Okay? So two of them are already written. Number one is do not talk to strangers. Your parents might have taught you know that you should not talk to strangers. And the second is, do not put your head or hand out of the window of the school bus. So this is the rule that you should, the safety rule that you should follow while you are in your school bus. Okay. So other three, I know you all can write on your own. There are many, you can write any three of them. Like do not go near the fire, okay? Walk in a line while going to the class or moving out of the class. Do not push or pull anybody while you are walking in a line, okay? So you can write any three here, any three safety rules on your own, right? Now let's uh, start with the chapter. So, this is a story about a little rabbit whose name was Peter and he was very mischievous, very naughty rabbit. He did not follow his mother's instructions. Now, let's start. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. Their names were 
Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. So in this story, there are four little rabbits. Okay? And they are Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. So this story is about Peter. Basically about Peter. Okay? Now in this story, there is one more character that is Mrs. Rabbit, their mother, the mother of these four rabbits. And we have one more character whose name is Mr. Matt Gregor. Okay? So they lived with their mother in a sand bank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. So these rabbits, they lived with their mother in a sand bank. So sand bank is a large pile of sand and they lived with their mother in a sand bank and they lived underneath a root of a very big fir tree. So there was very big fir tree. Fir tree is a tree with needles like needle like tea leaves. Okay. So there they lived underneath the root. Underneath the root they dig hole and there they used to live. Now my dear, said Mrs. Rabbit one morning, I am going to buy some bread. You may go into the fields or down the lane but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. So here Mrs. Rabbit, their mother, was giving some instructions. One morning, Mrs. Rabbit, their mother, was going to buy some bread. And she told her children, she instructed her children that they can go to the fields or down the lane, but not to go to Mr. McGregor's garden because it was a very dangerous place. Because once his father went there, and he never returned back. He was killed by Mr. McGregor and he was cooked into pie by Mrs. McGregor and he was eaten by them. Pie is a kind of food. It's a type of pastry that can be cooked with the help of fruits, vegetables or meat. Right? So that's why she instructed her children not to go in Mr. MacGregor's garden. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. So Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, they were good little bunnies. Why they were good? Because they always used to follow their mother's instructions. So this time also they followed her instructions and they went down the lane to gather blackberries. Blackberries are small black fruits that grow on bushes and thorns. Okay? Uh, there are bushes, bushes with thorns. They grow on such type of bushes. They are small black fruits. So they went down uh, the lane and to gather blackberries. But Peter was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden. Okay? Because he was very naughty and he never followed his mother's instructions. Right? That's why this time also he did the same mistake. He did not follow his mother's instruction and ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed in from under the gate. So there was little space between the gate and the ground. From there he squeezed from under the gate into the garden. So children, today we will do till here. In the next video, I will explain the rest part of the story. Okay? Till then, be safe. Bye-bye.